Farmers are being urged to provide more of their own water for crops and livestock. The call comes from South West Water, which says with increasing domestic demand for main supplies, farmers could make better use of the water which is already on their land. David George has this report. The Drug and Barton Farm is nearly 400 acres of grassland and cereals overlooking St Austell Bay. They've got more than 600 sheep and some cows. Robin Kendall's family have farmed this land for over 300 years. Now they're using a modern version of water pumping technology his Victorian ancestors would recognize. The joy of this system is that it uses no power other than the water itself. It's the weight of water flowing down the hill here from a holding tank which actually works the pump. Once it's done its job it flows back into the stream but 20% of it is pumped uphill to water troughs all over the farm. Essentially it's, it's free water, um, providing there's enough water in the stream, uh, at a, um, you can get a greater deal of water to the places you need it on the farm, which is very useful for us. Here they've put the system in after agreeing to fence off the stream to stop animals contaminating the water, making it safer for people on the beach below. But Southwest Water say these PAPA pumps, which are made in Cornwall, can also be used to pump water into storage tanks during flooding to be released during dry weather. And it saves farmers money. So why is the water company trying to offload its farming customers? There's been a lot of development in the Southwest, as you're probably aware. Um, and the more houses that go up means there's more demand on mains water. So if we can encourage farmers to use natural water, when there's plenty in abundance, it makes perfect sense to use, uh, to, to use that water rather than mains water. Some argue that it's simply good business sense to sell water to domestic customers who use less and pay more than farmers do. Southwest Water says around 200 farmers are using similar pumps. They want many more to become self-sufficient in water. David George, BBC Spotlight, near Goron Haven.